Just a single minute I want you to give him praise In your own words Just give him praise And worship his name In your own words Come and lift your voice wherever you are Lift your voice wherever you are Dear Lord God Lift your hands wherever you are In Jesus name We give you praise And we honor you Our Father and our God We say thank you for this blessed opportunity to be in your house this evening for your word, O God, that is able to build us and to give us the inheritance of the saints. With our hearts open wide and our minds laid, O God, here we are. Do unto us just as we have proposed, just as we have called. And let the spirit of wisdom and revelation of God learn throughout this place. And that you used me, O God, to communicate the mysteries of the kingdom. And that everybody in this room, O God, everybody connected, O God, to hear your word today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power of the spirit of the living God. Everybody lift your hands wherever you are. That by the end of this meeting today, O God, Everybody is going to be found at his light place in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Spirit of the living God. We shall see you, O oh God, exalted in our lives. We shall see you, O oh God, magnified in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whether it's going to be any kind of a touch of God today, we are going to get that. In Jesus' mighty name, oh Lord God Almighty, be exalted, be glorified. We say thank you, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, just pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you are. Pray in the Holy Ghost that the word of God that is coming to me is going to be fruitful productive in my spirit in my soul and in my body pray in the spirit of the living God pray in the Holy Ghost pray just pray just pray Lord I am ready for your word Lord I am ready for your touch I am ready I am ready in the name of Jesus Christ Kila Balabada Bashanda Rabada Gadadistasia Sipa Kashu Zimara Hate Zifra Hastish Dila Brom Telegrina Saya Lahate Kiparu Stojala Hates in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah I want you to take your seats Bleach your neighbor for me Bleach your neighbor for me Hallelujah I'd like to take this opportunity first of all To thank the man of God my father, wanga, our father, watu, for this opportunity badangai, that I can stand this day lero, and minister to you. It is a blessing. Ndindalito. It is love. Ndijikondi. Something worth of appreciation. Come and help me clapping hands for the man of God. Hallelujah. It is a blessing. Ndindalito. Very, very huge blessing. All right, so there is something that the man of God eh, told us on the crossover night. Crossover. That was on the 8th of December. By 8th December. He talked about corporate success. All right, so he talked about that. Eh? 
and I said Dana nena guti if in your family you are the only one ngani banja mwanu muli noka things are progressing zimene zintu zikupita batsogolo are going to progress kana zipite batsogolo it's not going to be enough zikala zokwanira or if there is only one person ngati bali munthu modzi eka that is not going to be enough zimene zikala zokwanira he emphasizes ana kazikika on corporate success pachipamba no janosi so that one i'm going to be addressing tonight ndezimene zindi zikamba usikuno under this subject which i'm calling it mastering destiny relationships mene ndikucha kupanga umbuye pa mabwezi wa tsogolo praise the lord so three words ndema wawili that are there amena ali pamene ipo number 1 chiambilira mastering kupanga umbuye that means by the end of everything you shall have become the master over the matter that we are addressing right now number 2 there is a word destiny all right and number 3 there is a word relationships very important for you to keep as we are about to take off very important things so mastering destiny relationships now in life moyo wherever you are going to be you are going to encounter people you are going to be taken into various kind of relationships you are going to be at a place where by one way or the other you are going to be connected with somebody with some people at a certain angle and now in the midst of all that there are things that we call what we are discussing right now destined relationships the first thing that you have to understand is that you as a child of God God had got a plan for you even until now he has got a plan for you and this God is not just assuming about it how it is going to become of effect but he has well arranged the right resources the right right thing that are needed and and the right people that are needed the truth of the matter is everybody can access anything but there are things when you have accessed them they have got the blueprint of your destiny you look at certain things that are happening in your life you say, but this thing is destiny matter are we together here? You look at certain people that are coming into your life. You look at them and you say, but this person has got a matter of destiny for my life. So that is how it stands. So when you talk about destiny relationships, we are talking about those kind of relationships that have got their impact on your life as a man as a child of God affecting your destiny as per designed by God so number one you have to understand that then there are let me, let, let me just read for you do you like reading and writing Okay so you are going to write these three phases of relationship Number 1 you are going to write common relationships or general relationships these are kind of relationships whereby you encounter people in life you go to school you are going to have some classmates definitely. you go to work you are going to have your partners there you are going to encounter various kind of people here in church in the house of God there are people that you are going to encounter now, 
this is the basis of all the relationships that is going to be there. That means including the destiny relationship that we are talking about right now. It is going to come from this kind of a basis. Well, but for some other reasons, at some point of time, you were in contact with this kind of a person. You reach in this person's life. You live in this person's life. That is why, according to Romans chapter number eight, uh, 12, eh? verse number 18, Aloma 12, verse number 18, Aloma 12, verse 18. It, it's there. Okay, that's why the Bible says this. If it be possible, as much as it lieth with you, Live peaceably with all men. Are you seeing that? It's, it's, it's a very good wisdom. Are we together here? Can you begin to apply this in your life today? Can, can you begin that? He says, it, if it be possible, as much as it lies with you, live peaceably with all men. So common relationships are in that kind of a phase. And then there are seasonal relationships. These are kind of relationships whereby you encounter a man for a season. And when this kind of people have successfully done what they are supposed to do, they are supposed to go away from the One way or the other, they are not going to continue with you. For their assignment in your life is for a season. And mind you, if these people, you are going to keep them while their season is is over, you might become a detriment to your life. You might be distracted by them. Or oh, oh, you are that kind of a person, and you are still insisting on somebody, by the end of the day, you might destroy that kind of a person. Something that happened which is not going to be well. So that means there are people that are going to come. At the end of the day, they are going to leave. Are we together here? So these are things that are attached to them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are people that can come to this church. Maybe for a few months. And we are doing maybe a project. And they help us committedly in a project. And for some other reason they are gone. But they have done their part. And mind you. They should not announce themselves. That I am here for a season. As a matter of fact according to the dealing of God. Many of the times he does not announce this kind of people. But according to the dealing of God. He doesn't announce them. Many of the time you are going to understand when they are gone. Say, okay, these people came into my life and by the end of the day they achieve what they are supposed to achieve. And then we have got these ones. Destined relationships. Very important. And this is the area of our emphasis. Destined relationships. Now I just explained to you that these are kind of relationships that in their nature they have got the blueprint of what you are supposed to become as per your destiny. One of the people that are associated with these people with these people let me just say part of the uh, some of the relationships eh, include family. Okay, for example, you will never be taken away from your family. In as much as you may have some issues with your family, but your family is your family. Your family is your family. Your people are your people. Are we together here? In number two, we have got a relationship between father, son, maybe spiritually. Or else we can say a relationship with your pastor. In simpler terms, okay? The relationship with your with your prophet. The man that God has anointed for your life. And of course you can put in some little relationships. Husbands and wives. Now if you are going to study these things, you are going to realize that the common hardest relationships here are that of you and your pastor and you and your spouse. Very hard and critical ones. Hallelujah. That's why we are talking about mastering destined relationships. So having that in mind, 
I want us to understand something about destiny. Because I have said what I have said what destiny relationship represents they represent the blueprint of that which God wants you to become in life as per your destiny. Understand this. When we talk about destiny, God has got a plan in his own perfection. He said that upon this man, I'm going to achieve the thing. So as far as God is concerned, one way or the other, that plan has to work in. Because he's God. However, it remains a fact that destinies can be altered. That means you are supposed to take a direction, but for some other reasons, for some other factors, you have taken another direction. So that is the first fact that I want you to capture. That destinies can be altered. And on the other hand, the second fact that I want you to take is that destinies can be aborted. That means you began your journey of destiny. You began your journey of destiny. The journey of your future. But along the way, certain things are happening which are causing you to give up on your destiny. You thought that by the end of the three years to come, I'm going to be somewhere. By the end of five years to come, I'm going to be somewhere. But life happens. Life happens. And by the end of the day, those kind of a sight that you had, that vision that you had, is no longer a reality. And a man can give up. Are we together here? So the first one is that destinies can be altered. And when we talk about altering a destiny, there are two that can alter your destiny as a man. It is either God or another man. And on a man here, you can put yourself also there. But for, for a destiny to be aborted, it is all dependent on you. Are we together here? But remember, a destiny can be altered. So who can alter a destiny? Two can alter a destiny. Two can alter a destiny. Who can alter a destiny? That is God or another man. Are we together here? Follow me very clearly. Follow me very clearly. As a tool can alter a destiny. For example, if you study throughout your Bible, you will never discover or else you will discover that there are two Okay. There are two Palizida. There are two people, personalities. Let me say so. There are two personalities that has got a power to give a name. For example, oh no, not for example, but number one, it has to be God. Number two, it has to be man. Okay? Whereby there are times whereby man encounters God. And God changes his name. For example, Jacob. The Bible says, Today you are going to be called Israel. You know what was happening right there? It was destined being altered. There is something that we are supposed to do with your life. But with the name Jacob, we are not going to do that. But take the name Israel. So you know what happened there? Destiny was altered in the right direction by God. On the on the other hand, man is another person who is able to give a name to another person. For example, your name did not fall down from heaven. It is your mother or your father that has to be. 
who gave you that name? So giving you that name already, they must have had a picture of what this child is calling. What this kind of a person is is presenting in this life. That's why they called you what they called you. At least in their mind, they were sure. Okay, let's go this one. For example, Zuone. Zuone. You, know, you understand these things. Okay, for example, Zone. Okay, so these are the things that happen. Now, for us to focus Liri on what we are discussing about destiny relationships, we are not going to deal with God part, eh? but we are going to deal with man's part. Eh? Are we together here? We are not going to deal with God's part of altering the destiny, but we are going to deal with man's part eh? in altering your destiny. That's why we are saying you have to stand at a position of mastering destiny relationships. Such as these men when they have come into your life, they might be at a position to bring in the effect, to bring in the substance that they are supposed to bring in as they ordered by God. Are we together here? Now let's go Amos chapter number 3, verse number 3. Three. Now I want you to begin to understand this. Oh dear Jesus. Can you read that? Alright, one, two, go. One more time, one, two, go. Alright. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Are you seeing that? It's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. You might think what the Bible is trying to talk about here is that I cannot come to Minister Mada and tell him, sir, uh, uh, and begin to walk with him except I tell him, sir, we are doing this and this, this and that. Let's take this direction. And then we are working together. In other words, we have come in terms Okay, we have agreed that by the end of the day he is in term and I am in term with whatever we have conveyed are we together here? but now it is far beyond that I, I, I like the way this kind of a version put it because it says can two work together except they be agreed in other words, can two walk together except they be bound together? Now, if you're going to lead in the manner of the English that is there, it is saying here two people cannot walk together except they be agreed. Now, this thing is not meaning to say two people cannot walk together except they agree. Here, the Bible is saying. According to this vision, and I love this vision so much, is that two people cannot work together except they be agreed, giving us an understanding that their agreement is beyond their own conversation. It is beyond them saying, eh, yes, I do, and yes, I do. Uh, but that there is a force in between them that is agreeing for them. And by the end of the day, have got no any other option but to begin to move together. Therefore, this kind of agreement which we later on do, they follow something like that. That is why in life there are various kind of people you meet in a single day. At least in every single day there is a new face that you meet. But not everybody of them you do make them your friends. Not everybody of them you do go to his house never because there is something else that connects a man's heart to a man's heart already now we are already beginning to do with something that has to do with destiny are you following me here that is why I don't personally like it 
cinema gonda. To advise somebody. Kulangi za wina wake. Go end those relationships. Kateteni mwa gonda. Whatever it has to be. Kali gosa na kala. Tell me it's one of the hardest things that people can do. Chintu chori mbaji mena atuata kujii da jmenage. Because these people whom they have agreed. Tufandu wa mena na ukilizana. You don't know what they have agreed. Simu nutuwa jmena na ukilizana. Something is binding them together. China ayo juwama ingilirali moji. In making them to be whatever they are saying every day. Tuwaba ngitomba nila jijo se mena unena tuguli ilo se. Write this thing down. Every man that comes into your life has got two assignments to achieve. Number one, he is either going to bring mercy to your life or else he is going to bring judgment to your life. Are we together here? I will say that again. It's either he's going to bring mercy to your life or else he's going to bring judgment to your life. Right now you can say much of the things that people are affected with that are from another man. You look on social media you find on somebody's status it's either somebody is being uploaded or else somebody is, is a cause of the enmity. Are you following me here? So these two things shall any man bring to your life. Why is it like that? It is like that because there is no man in this world as designed by God that is irrelevant. Many of the times when you see people being irrelevant the things that you like regret from them is going to be judgment. And many of the times when you see people and they are relevant to you many of the things that you are going to get them is going to be messy to your life. Because as God has designed any man any man in this world is not without influence. Influence. Are we together here? At least anybody wherever you can be has got a particular influence. That's the way you are you, may, you, you have got a kind of an influence. At least upon your siblings. Maybe I'm not upon this church. But upon your siblings you are the big sister there. You know what is happening? Everything else about their life when they are growing their approach to life things that are going to be convinced about they are going to stall in a depending on what they have seen the elder sister doing. Are we together here? So one way or the other, men have got an impact. Men have got an influence that they bring. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So can two walk together except they be agreed? So they cannot walk together except there is something that is binding with them. Now, let me I give you something to consider right now. Put in mind. What is making that one to be a friend? Or what is making that one to be a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Don't answer me. <laughs> I just want you to consider that. Okay? All right. What is making you to think that this is your church? At least for your family, you can you, you can't have so many uh, questions about that. That is blood, okay? <laughs> That's blood. That is blood. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. That is blood. So here we are. So, you are going to understand eh, that life on its own has got a technology which whereby it is able to put like terms together. In other words, whatever you require as you, one or the other at the point of life, you are going to get that. 
it may not be pleasant. But it is something that is going to be attracted to you. It is something that is going to come up into you. Into your hands. Are we together here? I don't know. I don't know. Now, we are going to do something very fast. Eh? Because our time is not on our side. Genesis chapter number 18. Genesis 18. I want us to go there. Ah, should we begin 18? Kabasa tayakasta. Are you following me? Mundisa dila go. In the book of Genesis, we are having so many scriptures related to the same story. So I'm wondering where should we begin with? <laughs> where should we begin with? Let's just go to chapter 18. Chapter 18. No, 13. Let's go just to chapter number 13. Chapter verse number 13, eight. verse 8. Chapter 13, verse number 8. Oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord. Now, of the three phases of relationship that I talked to you, amongst the church people who are in the house of God, we easily assume and we easily associate every relationship to a destiny relationship. It is a syndrome that is in the house of God. When you meet somebody who is doing you good, you, know, you, you easily call him God sent. Okay? okay? Give you two, three months. Then are gone. Okay? Somebody else is doing, is showing up every time and again. You are excited. As a matter of fact, you know, every relationship when it's beginning, it begins on a high note. Are we together here? It begins on the high note. You know why? It's because we are both convinced of this thing that has brought us together. But the fact that it has brought us together doesn't mean that it is standing in the test of time. What is remaining right now is that these people have to begin to experience things that are going to keep them to the test of time. When they have conquered in life, they are going to exactly become what God has said they should become. That is why in the first place we talk about the ability of a man to abort a destiny. You begin your relationship with your pastor and then everything is good. You are coming from another church and that church has caused you some pain if you may say so. And by the end of the day you come here in Fossi. You find the glory of the blessing that we come and you say, but there is no any other church but fountain of Zoe. You are a testimony of a newcomer. There are people in this house. There are no newcomers. There have been here from the first day up until today. There have seen days of our strength, days of our weaknesses. And by the end of the day, what you are saying, wow, they are just clapping hands. That's how life goes. Okay? That's how life goes. Some of them, they are staying because they have to stay. Some of them have understood. But it is like that. So every time when you encounter a man, whatever kind of relationship, you know what happens? That many of the times, our emotions are attached to that. Our sentiments are, 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 are always outside of that. So we are on it. As a matter of fact, let me tell you a secret. In any relationship that you are going to find yourself in, the best that you are supposed to take in that relationship is supposed to be exactly the best one you felt at the very first time. Manifestations are very but you know what? Time teaches us things. Right now you cannot post the man of God on a status. But then you are able to do that. Oh my father this. The, the God father. This one. A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. Right now. But right now. But life has shown you substance. And you are saying, ah, come on. 
And then anyway, you're coming to church. Hallelujah. But what has happened? That these people that you are thinking about are going to ask you questions. That in the very first place you were convinced and you were above all their sayings all their ways but right now you are minding about them you would post a post of the church meeting but now you are thinking ah, they are going to say in the church is a <laughs> That's how it goes. But that thing that has made it to be possible that way, it's very dangerous. dangerous. Now, this one, you know, the Bible said, the Bible talks about the man Abraham. So Abraham, God had called him. He said, come out of your father's land and I'll show you the land which you are supposed to go. The man came out of the land and he took his nephew Lord. Lord. Okay? He took his nephew Lord. And after taking Lord, the Bible says, Bible eh? Oh my God. Can you give us from verse, maybe verse number uh, ah, five, maybe. Five. Let's, we can leave that. And Lord also, which went with Abraham, had flocks and heads and tents. Let's get down. And the land was not able to bear them, that they might dwell together, for their substance was great so that they could not dwell together. Look at that. The man who was taken from somewhere, right now he's somewhere. Up until when you look unto Abraham, and you look unto Lord, you don't know which one is the big man here. More especially if you meet them today, you do not know that Abraham has laid up Lot to become what he is right now. And the Bible says, and the land was not able to bear them, and they, that they may dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. Next verse. And there was strife between headmen of Abraham's cattle and headmen of Lot's cattle. Now, I want you to pay attention here. The Bible is not saying there was strife between Abraham and Lot. No. The Bible is clear in saying that the headmen of Lot and the headmen of Abraham, these are the ones that had got a strife. And by the end of the day, the strife is going to lead to the big men. This has happened at the field today. It was like this. Like that, and everything like that. And the, and, okay, let's continue. And the headmen of Lord's cattle, and the Canaan and the Perizzites dwelled in the land. Next verse. And Abraham said unto Lord, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, between and between the headmen, and between my headmen and thy headmen, for we be brethren. Now, very interesting here. Now we are beginning right now, okay? Now remember, this man is nothing. This boy Lord is nothing. But right now he has encountered a man who is in the mind of God, who is in the plans of God. And because he has encountered that grace and an anointing of the Spirit, by the end of the day, we are able to see Lord growing bigger and bigger. For example, in our days right now, you do not know anything about ministry. You do not know anything about how to stand on a pulpit and minister to God. And the man of God picked you up. Your father mentors you up. Right now, you can divide the word lightly. Right now, you can prophesy lightly. You are somebody. You have got a substance. People can clap hands for you. And indeed, you are a blessing. This is a fact of life. In the fund, you stand here and minister it is at the same that the same as the big man is around. People are, bl- are being blessed. You know the temptation that comes in? The temptation, the, the temptation that comes you can stand on your own. You can do something big about yourself. And this thing, let me tell you the truth. You don't have to think that it can never be a part of your life. It doesn't happen like that way. It doesn't happen like that way. Right now, 
you can stand on your own you can be there you can be there you know what is happening here these are voices that are distracting a man from the man of his destiny the man of his future provided there are things that about this man I personally don't like it maybe I don't like how he talks maybe I don't like how whatever it can be there are other things provided at one point of a time he ever offended me and then once and again that voices begin to ling again ling again ling again praise the lord praise the lord in relationships there are what we call leachers and settlers leachers and settlers okay these are terms okay leacher that means you all are e a c h a r okay a leacher and a settler for example maitanzo any time you meet any person you might not meet at the same level of sociological context okay your friend might be more financially uh, stable than you are you getting me here? Your friend will be more financially stable than you. Now, in this kind of a case, obviously, obviously, the one who is having enough and a lot is a settler. Okay? Are we together here? And the one that is having less is a leacher. Are you getting me here? Are you getting me here? it's a very common example because i want to communicate something spiritual not that one per, per, per se okay now it's, it's it's like this so, there are many social factors that are associated with that Sometimes you think that you are more educated than the other person okay? sometimes you think that your family is more uh, it richer than your the, the other person whatever it has to be. but now, these are the things that happens in a relationship that means when you are in a relationship it is about giving and takes you give up something and you give up something now there are those kind of people because of their social status social status whatever it has to be they feel like now i'm doing this man's an advantage oh, you, come, you have come as my wife right now you have already found a house you have already found cars you have already found anything else and that's how it goes that's how it goes now, what i'm communicating here is based on the thing because what i'm dealing with is about destiny and destiny has to do with spiritual matters how together here so it's just a man's I'm just trying to communicate here. So there is a leacher and there is a settler. Okay? Somebody who settles okay. Right now, I think I can I, I, I can accept the condition of this person. Okay? And uh, the other person one way or the other when for you to become to place out of terms it is going to be like that okay so in this case in this case you are going to realize that Abraham was the one that was etc okay? but now Lord was the one that was a leacher Lord because he was the one getting a substance from what from Abraham but it can never happen no matter how you are in the presence of a big man that you have got nothing else to contribute to that life. follow me here it can never happen if it at all happens that means you have declared yourself to be a useless failer no matter how much, much a mass destiny can be there is something that you need to contribute yes that's it god is rich but every time he say give in the house of god are, are you seeing that am i communicating here so there is something that you do by but the end of the day. Day. Now, here i want to communicate something of what happened here Now, the Bible shows to us this. They have grown and they have become bigger. All of them, both of them. And they have got lessons enough to separate and part ways. Abraham understand the lessons. Abraham Lord understand the lessons. And Abraham is the one that is coming. He said, my brother. At this time allowed his brethren. Remember. Okay? My brother. 
It is not good for you to fight right now. Let us part ways so that we may be okay. Next verse. Now look and begin to look how a Lord became so kind of a person who was carnal minded. Is not the whole land before thee? Look at this. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, for me. If thou would take the left hand, then I'll go to the right. If thou depart to the right hand, then I'll go to the left. And look how foolishly the Lord answered. Let's go to the next verse. And the Lord lifted up his eyes and behold all the plain of Jordan that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even at the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as though thou comest unto Zohar. In other words, you know what Imagine the Bible is saying? Lord, Lord, look unto that Lord, and, and, see an oppo- and show an opportunity that right now I'm about to become the best and the greatest about this man. When God is going to speak, he's going to speak to me, not this man. In the whole earth, I am going to be the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, when big men are talking like this, like the way Lord is talking, something is wrong. You need to be wise. You need to begin to think. Separate yourself. Oh, come on. We need to think. Let there be peace. Oh, you need to think. You need to think. Remember what I'm telling you. Our destined relationships. Okay? Now, these are the costs that we do pay. We want to maintain destined relationships. Because these are many that in this life when we have found them, when we have gotten them, we don't allow at any cost for them to go away. Not because of our own pedigree, not because of them, but one under any circumstances. This one is my pastor, he's my pastor. This one is my husband, he's my husband. This one is my wife. And then you are settled on that matter. You are settled. Whatever comes, we are going to see together. So Abraham is saying, let's separate. Let's get peace. And the man says, right now, right now I'm going to get my peace. I'm going to get my comfort. I'm going to be where I am. One thing that I wonder about life, and happening in life, when I see people, maybe posting in their statuses, you know, people say, you know, people say, or some people talk in your eyes plainly. They explain whatever they explain. And by the end of the day they say, I, I, I just want my peace. Something happened in the church. They say, I'm, I'm not going to come to that church. Because I just want my peace. And immediately when I hear that, I remember the words of Jesus. Jesus look unto Jerusalem. Yes, and upon looking unto Jerusalem, he said, Oh Jerusalem and Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Have you known the times of your visitation? And the thing that are meant for your peace. Okay, you are looking for your peace right now. But do you know the thing that are meant for your peace? Blocking me from your contact? <laughs> Blocking me from your contact list. Anyway, that's amazing. That's okay. wonderful. Are you getting something here? Because I'm about to finish. We, we are going to sit on that. We're not going to go to some other things. Ah, and then it continue like that. Continue like that. Give us the next verse. verse and the Lord chose him all the plain of Jordan and the Lord journeyed east. What? Journeyed east. And they separated themselves the one from another. So it has happened right now. They have separated everybody to his own business. Everybody to her own business. But now, as I finish, as I finish, maybe I'm just going to narrate for the sake of time. But you are going to lead 
Genesis chapter number 18 Mwakoka ilinga Genesis 18 number 19 chapter 19 you're going to find what I'm talk, I'm going to narrate here Mwakoka This baba. is what happened Ndeji chimedeji na jidika This is what happened Ndeji chimedeji na jidika It happened that when Lot had chose the plain of Jordan. He went there. In the Bible says, the Bible it came a time in African town when Lot Lord went ahead and close to Sodom and Gomorrah. And then it came a time then African town when this man Lot entered into Sodom. Analom Sodom But remember <laughs> when God when these people have separated that's when God begin to speak to Abraham He said Abraham, Abraham look as far as your eyes can see that have I given you So you have left here and then God is finding an advantage to communicate a voice that in your presence he was not communicated what kind of a man are you god begin to speak of nations now that you have left the church god begin to speak of great things now that you have left that place god begin to do great things now that you have left that place and by the end of the day my question is what what kind of a person are you that the voice of god cannot be heard as far as you are right here What kind of an atmosphere you do kali? You may say oh sometimes it's like yeah. that but I'm amazed I'm, amazed. I'm wondering why did God speak to the man? Why you are allowed? Pamene muli pana ali ben huyo. But for Lot, he's moving Jordan, Jordan close to Sodom and then he's in Sodom. He's in Sodom. He's in Sodom. Remember now Lot, Lot is not an evil man here. This is the problem with many Christians today. Let me tell you here. For many of you to do about your destiny. I can tell you like now. You do not need bad decisions of life. Believe me what I'm telling you. You do not need evil decisions of your life. As a matter of fact, the only thing that you need is to abide in this our day. Are things that we call positive things. When I have done these things by the it's going to be like that. Ina basi, nimango panga zanga. Things like these ones. And for the end of the day, you are losing a substance that would have kept you for thousands and thousands of years. Do you get me here? Are you getting 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 me here? So he's moving from Jordan to Sodom. Are you getting me here? 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 passing by oh my god kabala step in asaya god was passing by and abraham saw and if i found grace in your sight remain at my house take something and eat and then by the end of the day you know the story it happened that they prepared food for them and by that it happened that they eat and all that and the lord god said shall i hide anything from abraham seeing that this man is going to command the genocide after his generation and therefore my will and my counsel is going to stand by Abraham Abraham He said no I can't hide anything else This one is my friend How to get there This one is my friend This one is my friend And by the end of the day the Lord begin to talk You know what Abraham We are going to Sodom You are going to Sodom To destroy Sodom And Abraham right away. Remember that there is Lord that I am. And begin to intercede. Begin to intercede. He say if it happens. That there are 50 luscious people. Will you destroy the city? God say I will not destroy. If it happens. That there are this amount of luscious people. Will you destroy the city? And I say it did not happen. Up until he came to 10 people. Up until he came to 10 people. 
10 people atoten and it happened that ndezina jidika good Abraham reached a level Abraham anafika mlingo that he knew that I can do nothing else to help Lord right now kulana jozo singaba nge kali goso mtanisa Lord banopa and he remained quiet ndana kala jete a man that is doing carnal decisions mtu amena banga ziganizo za kutupa but life dokuza moyo ndi nkani za tsogolo carnal decisions ziganizo za kutupi no carnal decisions are very bad ziganizo za kutumi zoipa better you should be just sinning <laughs> But God is not very bad. Zoi ba wambi. You know the Bible says Bible is good. He chose Saul. He chose Saul. Ana thanka Saul. For a king of Israel. Pa kuta kale mfumo ya Israel. But along the journey. Then kadi mwanjira. So become Kano. Saul ana kala wa kumuntu. And he wanted to handle the plan of God. Then kafuna kujita mapulana amu. In Kano mana. Mwanjira ya umuntu. And what happened this? Let me nena kika chakuti. That God took the kingship from Saul. Kuti mungu ana jotsa ufumu tokela kwa Saul. And gave it to David. Kupele kwa David. Question has to be. Fusule no kala lagu. If you read your Bible. Ngati mbalenga Bible lana. Between Saul and David. Pakati pa Saul ndi David. Who committed grave sin? Ndana mena anajira majimo akulu. David right? David si jonjo. But God said this man. Kama mungu akuti mtu. Is a man after my own heart. Ni mtu amena ali bantu mapanga. But I can tell you. So because of carnality. Saul ichwa ja umuntu. He even did greater sin than what David did. Ana yita so majimo ambiri uposa amene David ana achi. You remember the time where by he went to a, 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 a temple and killed all the priests there? Ana vita kukaji zikuwa pa ase de ose. Ase embe amuru. And he killed them all. Ndana apa ose. What are the difference? The man was approaching life from a carnal perspective. Mtu akafikira moyo pa monedo akutu. The other man was approaching life. Ndemu twina akafikira moyo. From a spiritual perspective. Njoka monedo au si. The Bible says. The Bible is good. Carnally minded. Kama mtu au mtu. He is what? Dead. Ndifa. To be carnally minded. Kama mtu au mtu. Is dead. Ndifa. But to be spiritually minded. Kama mtu au si. Is life and spirit. Ndiuzimu. And here we are about to see Lord. I want you to see the end of Lord. I want you to see the end of the Lord. Lord never became an evil man. Lord is an akale mtu oiba. Because he had left Abraham. If one has yana Abraham, I Now look at the prayer of Abraham. Don't and even pray Abraham. Lord, if there be a bigger divide, a larger person there. Mtu alunga mamene. We destroy that city. Wadi mwana nga nzinda ao. Agudi ai. No, I'm not do that. I send it as many as. But apparently, there is a luscious man in the city. Kun mundu lunga magunzi ndago. What is needed? Chufuni gilancha. For Sodom and Gomorrah not to be destroyed. Sodom and Gomorrah so. This is a luscious man. Di mundu lunga ama. But there is a luscious man in the city. Kun mundu lunga magumene ngo. But as far as the plans and the programs of God. Kun mundu lunga magumene ngo. Kun mundu lunga This luscious man going to heaven a man who is lapchaledi is irrelevant in the plans of god such that the place he is supposed to take a place he is supposed to take as a luscious man angels are sent there in angelo agumijidwa kumeneko It's a pity when you are being brought into a man's life. And by the end of the day, things that are expected to be done of you are being done by some other angels God sending. It happened with the apostles. When Jesus was in Gethsemane, the Bible says, the Bible says Can you watch with me? Can you pray with me? Just one hour. But they were blind. They were heavy in the eyes. They were heavy in the eyes. And they slept. You know what happened? The Bible said God Bible. sent forth his angels. And they comforted Jesus. And you thought that one is a blessing. Uh -huh. It's not a blessing. Sin dali so. You were here, you are here. Mara ba no muli apa apa. But we are struggling. Koma do futika. Right now you have got a job. Pa ba muli ndi chiru. But the church is seem nothing is happening right now. Pa ba jimani vidi ka ku church. But it's the same place that where you get your job from. Koma ndi malome wa men muna visa ku chitu yanu. 
You have got explanation things to say. And for us to survive as a church, we need to begin to beg, wait for some other supernatural thing to happen, and yet you are there in the house of God, being blessed by the same anointing, receiving from the same anointing, and then your life is moving forward. You are a luscious man. You are moving forward. Things are happening in your life. But let me ask you a question. Are you winning in this life we have heard news that right now you are having a job 500,000 is your salary that was wonderful but are you winning in life it happened with the man Lord that by the end of the day a place where you know if Lord was indeed a man if Lord Lord was indeed a man because this is what God does when God wants to bring judgment to people there is no place where God has judged men without a warning sent forth ahead no it has never happened you remember Nineveh when Noah was Noah Jonah. <laughs> Jonah was sent there. You the Bible said Jonah was, was, was he said, Lord, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I do you know there are things that in, your pastor is, is advising you about? Me me you, my, my daughter, you need to take these steps. Oh, no, ABCD, because indeed. he has seen the future. And with your proud and arrogance, with, with your carnality and whatever else you do, you, you, you know, but daddy, this and that, this and that, and you explain all that. Now, you remember you have called him daddy. But that word dad touches the heart. And by the end of the day, say, our daughter, I understand your decision. Uh, you, you can do whatever you can do. Humanly speaking, let me tell you this, is what we think many times. Is that Lord, let her see what I have seen so that she may learn. And when you are quiet enough in the presence of God, God tells you, pray for that person so that she may not see whatever you have seen. Not to happen to that person. Are you hearing? So it's like now. Agula agul, iwe mungu agwe angula, kujitika ngozi ku South Sudan. Okay, and as a prophet of Angola, rise. Okay, but no pa, I want to prophesy. South Sudan, there's going to be an accident. You know that prophet is going to take you on map. But remember, prophecy may fail. Okay, may be altered. Okay, at the end of the day, something has been happen has happened in the realm of the spirit. People have prayed after hearing your prophecy, and that thing has not happened. <laughs> You are discredited of being a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> you are no longer a prophet. sharp prophet. <laughs> you are not going to happen. <laughs> this is what happens with men of God. <laughs> men of God. <laughs> I can uh, submit to you. <laughs> men of God are the most humble people in this world. I'm talking about men of God. I'm talking about just, just kind of some kind of pastors. You remember the Bible talks about Moses. The Bible says Moses was the meekest man to live upon the earth. Moses, I know you want to talk about the Bible. I mean, I know you want to talk about the Bible. Moses was called the meekest man. Then the verses, why do I know you want to talk about the Bible? There came a time. In Africa, Tawi. When God said to Moses, I want to destroy these people. Moses, I want to destroy these people. They are stiff-necked people. They don't listen. I don't. I want I want to destroy them right and now. And I'm going to make a nation out of you. In other words, from henceforth forthwards, we are going to be saying the children of Moses, not the children of Israel, no, but they are going to be the children of Moses. And God has decided. And God was so determined about that. And Moses was the one who at that moment of time, according to the plan of God, as a prophet of God, begin to negotiate the law. Begin to negotiate the law. The Lord just give us the law. At least this thing might keep us. People of God, men of God, go a lot of things for you. Beyond staying hungry. Ah. 
You being alive right now? In this world? In this corner of this world? Oh, come on, come on. This world is infiltrated with alien activities. This world is infiltrated with alien activities. This world is infiltrated with alien activities. Alien activities. Sometimes you can't see them. And Moses negotiated the law. And Moses and Anna fused and Anna Bible. You are going to discover that the law, they say the law came by Moses. Not by God. He negotiated that. And he took upon his name. Upon his name. That kind of a minister of the law. This man knew what grace is about. Muntu akatwa what grace ni somo ndi chani. He understood it. Ana jipeteza. But he took upon that name. That name is a shame. Dina limeno ni manyazi. Yeah, it's a shame. Ni manyazi. Moses. Moses. If you are like a minister, ngati ndinthumuko tsuka kumene. One of the common statement you are going to find among us them. Chitu cho chimodzi chofana nimo ngapeze chowangulira ndi amtu amene. You are better than Moses. Ndi nawo no bosa Moses. You are the new creation. Ndi nujilenge do tsatsu bano. And he carried that upon him. So that one day you may become the new creation. And right now you are a new creation. You say you are better than Moses. You are better than Moses. Ah, agulu, agulu. You are crying with very simple and petty matters in life. And you are talking about a man who has seen war. And you say right now, I'm going to the top of the mountain. You go there and begin to fight. Less hands. Kweza manja yake. What kind of a man is that? Kwani mtu hodana mimi. And you're telling yourself that you're better than Moses. Ndiko bani zimbabwe no bosa Moses. You people. And when? Sometimes. Tawi zin. But now, mumatsubana. The emphasis is this. Chikazi kiso ndi. Destiny relationships. Mabweza tsogolo. They require a whole lot of sacrifices. Ama funikila nsembe. Are you hearing me? Mundiva. A whole lot of sacrifices. Ama funikila nsembe antuntu. And when you have embraced them, there is one who rewards. It is not the money to whom you are. It is the man to whom you are submitting to. Simu thamene mungu njela kuhu. It is not the man to whom you are submitting to. Simu thamene mungu njela kuhu. Or you are obedient to. Kavene mungu ofela kuhu. It is God alone. Ndi mungu njela. I can submit this to you. Many of the greatest anointing that you, we, you see as experience. Kuzoza kwa mbili umene madone efiru kumana naku. We got them in the hardest moments of our lives. Give me what I'm telling you. Moments when men have placed you left light. And they have done everything around it. But then when you want to leave that. Because everybody can have a life. And then you are going to persist. Because God has said now persist my son. And when you continue like that. God gives anointings. That are beyond. Prayer. Prayer. They remain as a reward. They remain as a reward. By the end of the day, people are saying, "Oh, <laughs> my hands, your hands. <laughs> These things are beyond hands." <laughs> are you able to go through fire with that kind of a person? I remember some time. Some years back. I was at a position. The Lord was insisting something in my life. And I said, Lord, I'm, I'm, if I do these things, you know, when you are making decisions, you already know who you are going to lose. I don't know for you, but I know. when you are making decisions, you, know, you already know who is going to be here and who is not going to be there. And I look unto that and I'm seeing this one. So this decision that I'm making is a detriment to this one's healthy. Okay? And the Lord spoke to me. And said, <laughs> everybody has got a test of his life. I said, oh Lord. And then we, we, we entered into that decision. 
two months, me, months are passing. Miezi kupita. You, you know the lot people are cutting off. Mtu anthu wapine la kudulidwa. The lot people are cutting off. Anthu wapine la kudulidwa. The Lord had already spoken about that. Anada nkula gali za zimenezi. When they were speaking about their own thoughts and their minds and everything, it's like. Pananka gankula zama lingelewa. Taina sa kiti mangu, kabas kungo, kungo funo yesa ni mundu heti. Kungo mwane sa mundu, but that is my jesega. We already know that you are going to go. Tutu wa gali kuri mchoka. Ready be fast in your decision. One thing that I demand you have to be quick in decision. You have to be quick. And when I say quick I mean alive. Alive, okay? You have to know what you're doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this is that. This is that. You find that Lord. And then he has moved. Now the Bible says. The Bible when the Lord asked them to move out of the. Uh, when the angels asked them to move out. Eh, he said don't look back. Eh, and he said you're going to go into the land of. Is it Zohar? I don't know. The land of Zohar. And the Lord began to negotiate. Eh. <laughs> he began to negotiate. <laughs> and begin to say. <laughs> Lord. Ah, let me go to the caves. To the mountains. <laughs> Lest they are going to be consumed. <laughs> Lest they are going to be consumed. And the Lord say, oh, I have heard you about this matter. Go to the mountains. And the tragedy here is, the end of the matter, there are three of them. There are three of them. Okay. Lord, Lord and his two daughters. Where are the headsmen we, so, we, we saw in the very first place? Where is the suv and the god that was matching up him with Abraham? Where Sometimes, if you listen again over your listening, you may find that you are right, but very wrong. It just matters what kind of light is functioning in your eyes. And then the man had children by his own daughters. By his own daughters. Are we together here? By his own daughters. Can I tell you something that is funny? Please don't find a mistake with me. Uh, I'm a good person. Okay? In the end of that matter, God just saw that what we need right now of this man, Lord, of all the investment that he has received in the year that he was in, with Abraham. Let's just have children out of him. And it was by the prayer of Abraham himself. Are you getting me here? <laughs> he was drunken and he was forced into the act. And children came out of that. One this night she conceived. Another one this night she conceived. How many people are energetic out there in the family that are trying it is not working? <laughs> many of them. Many of them. Spiritual matters of life. Spiritual substances of life. I want you to rise up on your feet. Because God is about to give you something that is going to take to your life today in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord.
Kurasha taraka daga 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 daga. One thing that I make sure in my life. Kitu kimo zimene monete tsamwamanga. When I've met you, ngakumana ndini. You remember me. Mazandi kumbukira. When you encounter ah you remember me. Mazandi kumbukira. I don't do extremes, I don't do much. But I know what I do. Kwama madziwa zimene machita. This is my go in my life. Uwe ndo moyo wanga. Maybe today it might not make sense. Mwina leo sisi ngavetseteke. Maybe not tomorrow. Mwina osati mawa. But somewhere along the lines. Kwama vena vage nkati mwanjira. In this life. Moyo uno. Or at least Kavena in your grave mandamwana you hear mava because even in the grave let me tell you this swanga kale manda ndokuze nchisisi men to hear and wa mava so was disobedient to Samuel Saul ana losa vela kwa Samuel this time around he's going to a wizard avita kwa mfiti to raise up so to speak to him ugadzutsa Moses up so to speak to him. Moses up somewhere to speak to him. Jesus gave a parable. Yes, one of the guys. He said there was a rich man and Lazarus. And I remember the panel mu ntole mena ndi Lazarus. And the man is in his grave. Nde mtu ali kumanda. But right there he said. Kwa wewe kwa kunena. The things I the things the things zindu izizi my brothers in the earth are doing the same azibalanga kuita zomwezo let me go and tell them that they should stop utabida kwa uza kuti asiye man he is amen munthu amamva man he is munthu amamva that's why i don't have good business to talk about people that are speaking nonsense ha kwa ni be kando kwa ngula za ha it comes a time when a man hears it comes a time it comes a time along the line that which is of importance to you shall come before your eyes but then maybe you shall have moved in the long direction but maybe then you shall have moved in the direction which was not necessary at all mwe soko ya mene sina jofunikira But why should that happen to you? Come on, you should hear after pain. Guru mudzave put pada taulu. Things that are very easy to be heard. Zindu zimene zizopheka kuzivhiti zvedwe. Right now you are married to a long person. Pano mama kuti andi mutho. And you remember ah, I should have heard that one. Ndakamvela amene uja. Why should it happen to that like that? Why should it happen like that? Why should it happen like that? It is my prayer by the spirit of the living God. Keep your hands where you are. Kurapa tarakata kada 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 your destiny be granted unto you and that you are able to see it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the abundance of the word of God in the abundance of the spirit of the living God why should I misdirection no it doesn't have to happen like that it doesn't have to be happening like that why are you so carnal why are you so mindful of things that are carnal I cannot dare to work on this beautiful destiny on this beautiful future that you have today any error that I've been following in your life is the mighty name of Jesus Christ and that this anointing and grace is being cut off from your life in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
One thing that I thank God for. One thing that I thank God for. Is that I can lack money. For a month. But I can tell you the truth. That I don't like cancel this life. Never. Never. And that one is sufficient for me. At least for me. In the meantime. It can never pass a week. That I am without a counsel. It can never happen. It can never happen. Why? Because God has made the things available. They are like, everywhere. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. You are not going to miss your destiny partners in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You are not going to miss in the name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny help us. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. But they shall be right there in your eyes. You shall see them. You shall behold them. Yes. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Remember what I told you. In many cases and in many times. Oh, no, like I've told you. What the Lord told me. He said, Every man has got a test of his life. Every man has got a test of his life. Many of the times, I don't know why. But it happens that many people that are productive and fruitful, they are not romantic enough at the way we think they are supposed to be. There are not that kind of people that are. Well presented enough at the way we thought them to be. And why God has made it that way. Only that the Bible says he uses the foolish things of this world. I'm a great and children to solve nothing the wise of this world. Are you having an ability that the same woman that you are seeing right now is going to be a great woman that is going to feed many people? Yes. 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 You ought to be careful with your neighbor sometime. And have the due respect to them. Because men are descended. I'm telling you, when you do that, your life is going to begin to take a course that the voice of God is going to be clear to you. You shall never lack the counsel of God and the wisdom of God is not going to be lacking in your life. But you are going to be at that place and at that position whereby everything that is supposed to be there is going to be available to you. Amen. Oh yes. Lift your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands wherever you are. And I want you to receive this with your power oh, and your energy. Koki parada shaka bada 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 bada. Some of you have done grave mistakes. But let me tell you one thing. You are not in the grave right now. Yes. Right now you are where you are. And by the power of the spirit of the living God. Yes. I prophesy in your life. Yes, there is freshness in the name of Jesus. There is awakening in the name of Jesus. Yes, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall arise stronger, greater, and better in the mighty name of Jesus. No man is going to decide your future. No man is going to decide your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God. By the spirit of the living God, today I take your destiny. I grant it into your hands right now. I grant it into your hands right now. I grant it into your hands right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive the power of the Holy Ghost. I see the spirit of the Lord rearranging things around your life. I see things big and I see things big and right now. You thought you have lost it, but I'm telling you, it is it is coming with a greater blessing right now. It is coming with a greater blessing right now. It is a power of the Holy Ghost. 
The hand of God is going to touch you wherever you are. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Yamaroshka prate kia babara stavina sa. Di bala de, di bala de, di bala de. Uri tata ya kaza za bata bata raba baba baba sa. Shike teke teke na taska. Rufrale tete. Liga baros tumbri ana katoshata. Ah, listen, 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 listen. Veteran. I want you wherever you are to get whatever is coming to you right now. Get whatever is coming to you right now. Some of you, life has plunged you. Yes. Life has made you. It has so much put you put you to a pleasure. It's like in a place where you have been grinded right now. But today the Lord has remembered you. Oh yes. I said today the Lord has remembered you. Today the Lord has seen you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming out of the life and the power of the Spirit of the Living God. You are becoming, you are coming out of the life in the name of Jesus, and becoming the man and the woman that God said you are supposed to be. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, my dear. In many times, mutawi zambiri. In many times, mutawi zambiri. I wish to find those great men whom everybody has forsaken in this life. Maybe they have errored. Something that's gone wrong. And say, Pastor, my pastor, Maybe all your sons have left you because of this thing. But here I am. Arise. Send me as your errand boy. Gain your strength back. Bless us. If we are supposed to move, we are not supposed to move at this place where you are distracted. No. Arise right now. Take back your place as the Father, as the Man of God, and then release us into that which we think that we can do. That is the second thing that you have to embrace. Destinies, ladies and gentlemen, they work better when you have made a decision to be productive and fruitful. To be productive to people. By your presence, it's made an atmosphere of hope. That's when it begins with your life. It doesn't begin with a new job, I'm telling you. Never. When you say, I'm going to be a blessing. When you say, I'm going to be a blessing. Even when you are dying. These are things that are moving in my mind. I just think, what can I do to you? And right now, I've concluded. That first thing that a person needs from me is not money. I have concluded that. Have concluded. Comes a time when a man hears. And see. And see. And see. Just remember that. I want you to tell wherever you are. I want you to pray. By the Spirit of God. The Lord, I'm 
going to be fruitful and productive to the life of everybody that you bring in my life. Oh, chapter number 12, verse number 18. He says, as it lies with you, live peaceably with every man. Live peaceably with every man. I want you to lift your hands wherever you are. And I want you to pray right now. The Lord, by the help of your spirit, I'm going to be the blessed. Lift your voice, pray. I'm going to be a blessing to my pastor. I'm going to be a blessing to my partner. I'm just I'm going to be a blessing. I'm going to be a blessing. I am going to be a blessing. And I want circumstances in all conditions. Every time I'm going to be a blessing in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift your hands wherever you are. Lift your hands wherever you are. Oh, Lord God. Here is the heart of your son, your daughter, God. And here is your way that you have deposited in their hearts. Oh, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. From where they have stopped in asking you help, oh God. Pick it from there and grant them help in the name of Jesus. From where they have stopped and say, Lord, help me. Oh, yes. Stretch out thy light hand, mm. O oh God. Oh, yes. And hold their light hand, O oh God. Oh, yes. And open unto them the two lived gates. Amen. And let them not be shut anymore. Yes. And give them, oh God, the treasures mm. of darkness and the leeches of the hidden places. Yes, oh God. Yes. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, mm. grant them, oh God. Uh, yes, oh God. Grant them, oh God. Yes. That which they need for their next level. Yes. For their next phase. Yes. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Coach. Oh, Lord God. May they begin to encounter this, your word in their lives. Let doors begin to open right now for yes. them. Yes. Let Amen. opportunity be granted unto I them. Receive I receive it. In the name it. of Jesus. I Father. receive it. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Woo. Oh, yeah. Baladish. Ke baladish. Anybody that was close to their life. Oh, yes. Because of anything else bad that was upon them, oh God. I pray by the spirit of the, of the living God yes. that heart is open today in the name of Jesus. It is open today in the name of Jesus. Whether they be relatives, whether they be bosses at their workplace, oh, yes. whether they be business partners, oh, yes. whoever it has to be, of God, the hearts of men are open at today in the name of Jesus. Woo! In Jesus' mighty name. They're going to experience open doors. Yes. Open doors with men. Yes. Favor with men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Favor with men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Lord. Shataye. In the I receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Upon the right yes. it is registered today. Woo. And they are going to do well with the next partner. Yes. Upon the right yes. it is registered right now. Amen. But they are going to do well yes. with the next destiny partner that you are about to bring. Amen. With the next 
people that are going to take her to the next level yes. she's going to do better now amen but the power of the spirit of the living god yes. in the mighty name of jesus amen Doors are going to be open unto you. Amen. Doors are going to be open unto you. Yes. You are going to experience open doors. Yes. Listen to me. You are going to experience open doors. Yes. Open doors in your ministry. I will soon. Your heart is open right now. I will soon. And the Lord is going to begin to deposit. He is going to begin to put in. He is going to begin to pour in. Treasures of ministry that are in. Man of God, you are about to become great. Man of God, you are about to experience that dimension. In the name of Jesus, I receive the help of the Lord. Yes, has been granted unto you today. Amen. The help of the Lord yes. has been granted unto you today. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. We honor you. Give you praise. There shall be no man in your life that shall be wasted in your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we take out our offerings? We should give unto the Lord right we now. Time is gone. Dear love, we would like to welcome you to our online service, which is led by our man of God, Prophet Gideon Silica. We are delighted that you have chosen to worship with us today. We hope that you will feel at home here and that you will find this online space to be a place of encouragement, hope, and inspiration. Whether you are a first-time visitor or a long-time member of our church, we invite you to join us in worship and fellowship. At Fountain of Zoe International Church, we believe that giving is an important part of our worship and a way to support the work of God's kingdom. We are grateful for those who partner with us through their faithful giving, tithes, and offerings. If you would like to give, tithe, or become a church partner, you can do so easily through the accounts on the screen. Your contributions make a real difference in the lives of those who are touched by our ministry. Thank you for joining us today, and may God bless you abundantly. Dear loving members and guests,